Hi, my name is Salima and today we're making chocolate raspberry clouds. First we're going to mix 8 ounces of Philadelphia cream cheese with confectioner's sugar, one, a half a cup of confectioner's sugar. Then we're going to melt 12 ounces of dark chocolate morsels, 1 and a half cups of heavy whipping cream, and a third cup of red raspberry syrup. And to this, I'm going to add a pack of Whip It. Let's begin by adding uh, the cream cheese, the Philadelphia cream cheese, to the mixing bowl. With the confectioner's sugar. And we're going to cream this. While this is creaming, we're going to melt the chocolate morsels. So I've brought the water up to a boil and I'm going to just place the chocolate morsels in a glass dish so it can melt. And we're going to stir this occasionally as it melts. I have to tell you a little story about this recipe. This is one of my daughter's favorite recipes and she thought, let's go ahead and add Philadelphia cream cheese to it to kick it up a notch. And since she loves chocolate and raspberries, I thought this would be the perfect recipe to share with you. We're going to cream the cream cheese for about seven to eight minutes. Then we're going to add the raspberry syrup. Since this is mixing, we're going to add in the whipping cream. along with the wicket. Now the whippet, it's an organic stabilizer that helps the cream cheese mixture to peak and to form soft peaks and this way when you're ready to serve it, it will be nice and firm and it will give you that mousse-like texture. Let's stir the chocolate morsels. You can see it's beginning to melt. And just keep stirring it so it can, can it can melt and then we'll add this to the Philadelphia cream cheese mixture. Let's check the cream cheese mixture. It looks like it's ready. I'm going to turn it off and just scrape it down. See, it's already beginning to peak and form. And we're going to add the uh, chocolate morsels, the melted chocolate morsels to this. Now, we know when we come to eating chocolate, it's definitely not watching our waistline. But cho dark chocolate is very good for your health. See how this has peaked? And I'm going to add the chocolate morsels to this. The chocolate is all melted. Just be careful because that's hot. And we're just going to fold it into the cream cheese mixture. Mmm, that smells delicious. Now, <clears throat> we're going to blend this together. 
and then I'm going to put it back to whip for a couple minutes and then we're going to put it in the refrigerator and let it let it chill for about 35 to 45 minutes. Another good thing with this recipe is you can leave, you can make it make the mixture overnight and then you can fill your shells to serve it the next day. So this is a really easy uh, make ahead recipe that you can do. So let's put this back and whip it a little bit more. To blend it well. So while my filling was chilling, I baked some puff pastry shells which I'm going to serve the mousse in and I'm going to pop off the middles so we can fill them with that nice delicious chocolate raspberry mousse. Okay, I'm going to put one over here. So now we're ready to fill the shell. I've placed the chocolate raspberry filling into a plastic bag and I'm going to pipe it into the shell. So this way it's easier to fill. I'm just going to snip the end of the plastic bag and squeeze into this nice circular motion. Now this one's going to be for me to taste. I can also go ahead and fill this. This is another way you can serve the filling. And what I'm going to do is garnish it with a little bit of whipped cream. I'm sorry. And also this. And my little piece that I'm going to taste. And serve it with fresh raspberries. This just looks divine. And I'm going to top it with a little bit of mint. So there's several ways that you can serve this dessert and it's really easy to make and you really will enjoy it. This one's for me. It's heavenly. Take care and hope you enjoy your recipe.